Okay, so now it's time that we work on with the model. It's going to be really super simple, and before that, we also want to define the structure of this application. I would like to do that into the Finder itself so that it's much more easier for you, uh, for me to show you all of that. So I'm gonna just open this up. So this is my uh, MongoDB API, and inside that there are a couple of files going on up here. Uh, let's go ahead and create a new folder. Yes, we can do it here as well, but sometimes it just messes up. So I just want to show you clearly. So we're gonna go ahead and call this one as model or models. Depends on what is your strategy, uh, but I think model is fine up here. We're gonna go ahead and create another one, which is going to say as controller and all of our controllers are going to go inside that and we'll have another one where we are going to go ahead and put our router. So our MUX router basically will be injected up here. Now if you have more, maybe helper methods and all of that, you can go ahead and create as many folder. But remember in the root directory, there should be just one go file and preferably the main.go. Rest all the files should be into a separate folder. Otherwise, if there will be multiple uh, main files up here and you're going to run uh, go run and main.go, it's gonna go ahead and crash either run, go run and the dot, so execute everything inside this folder, it will automatically find the main method, or the better approach is to just keep everything separate and segregated. Okay, so this is all done. We can go ahead and close this one, okay. And now let's start with the model. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file into this model. Now what we're gonna call this models is definitely up to you. We just have one, so we're gonna call this one as models.go. Uh, I know this is not really an ideal name. It should be a little bit more uh, user friendly or something, but this is what we're gonna have. Okay, now a couple of interesting thing. First, let's go ahead and call this one as package uh, model. Yeah, package model is fine up here. Okay, let's go back up here a little bit onto this and I would like to bring your attention up here. So this is where you're going to see a whole lot of option going in and a whole lot of digging needs to be done about the context.background and a whole lot of things actually comes into the picture as soon as you're going to start reading that. The better approach is let me just show you all the things, how it works, and then you can dig up the documentation. If I'm gonna be start digging the documentation in every single line, it's going to take a lot of thing. Now in this one, we are going to use this uh, BSON up here, so we can actually bring up just one this line of the import statement, uh, because that is going to be required. And not just the BSON, we want to use primitive of that. So basically the idea is whenever you use the MongoDB, it gives you the IDs which MongoDB generates it automatically for you. And these are not just IDs, these IDs are of underscore ID type. They are kind of a BSON structure. Uh, they are very similar to be in the visual aspect, they are very similar to JSON, but they have a little bit more added fail fields into them. So let's go ahead and work on with that. It's not that much, that much hard. So first we're gonna go ahead and say, hey, I want to bring up an import statement. And there we go. So the import statement that I want to have is this, uh, go.mongodb.org. We have already brought in the package, so don't you worry on that. And in the BSON, once we have this one, then we need to have primitive. So this is the one which will give us all the IDs in all these fields. Common practice, you'll be doing it every single time when you'll be defining these models for it. Again, if ORM comes into the picture, then you probably might don't have to define it, but again, we are going all the way basics of it. So we're gonna go ahead and call this one as type, and this is going to be my uh, Netflix type. So what this Netflix type is, uh, it is a collection where I can see all the seasons and movies. I can mark them watched or unwatched, and that's it. That's all we are doing. Yes, we are aware and we are capable of handling complex structures like uh, courses and authors inside them, but let's keep things basics at least up here. Once you are done with the basics, feel free to experiment a little bit more. Now, the first thing is obviously ID, not the ID, uh, ID. And the second thing after that is going to be, uh, let's call this one as movie. Let's restrict ourselves just for movie as, as of now. And then there is going to be a watched. Uh, is it watched or not? Okay, so what is this ID going to be? The ID is going to be of primitive dot object ID. Now, who is giving you this? This object ID is exactly the underscore ID that is given to us. Now, movie, this is our basic stuff, string, and this is watched, which is bool. So the only new thing that's coming up here is this primitive dot object ID. Now, obviously, since we are defining a struct and we are working with the APIs, these backticks are must have up here. So what we're gonna do in this case is we are going to say JSON and we are going to say use these double quotes. This will be known as underscore ID because everybody's familiar with these kinds of uh, syntax up here. Uh, a little bit more onto this one. <laughs> there, there will be a little bit more in, uh, context up here. Remember we talked about this omit empty. So if this is empty, we are not gonna be allowing that. Uh, but not only that, once you go outside of this JSON, you can go ahead and put up a space, not a comma, remember that. We also need to give at a BSON. 
Uh, yes, I told you just a moment ago that it is in reality a Bison structure, but we are more familiar with the JSON type. So again, the exact same thing needs to go up here as well. This is a syntax. No, I'm not. I don't have to do anything with up here. This is a kind of a syntax that goes up with that. And if you're going to see any other models being defined up here, if I can find some of them, I guess we should not spend or waste much of the time here. But this is the syntax that goes up here. I guess this is more into the articles that they have written. Okay, so this is all done. This is all what we need. Rest of the stuff is exactly same what we have seen so far. So this is going to be uh, JSON, just like that, double quotes. And we're going to call this one as uh, movie. And we are going to definitely say, I don't want the empty value. So I'm going to say, not a comma, not a space, omit empty. And the second one just up here is going to be again backtick JSON like this. And this is going to be simply watched all lowercase. And we're going to say omit empty. Save that. And that is our model. So again, I do expect that this is a little bit tricky part. But whenever we work with the database, database usually provide their own IDs, which guarantees a uniqueness also and searchable also. Uh, this is all coming up from the primitive dot object ID, which is this line is responsible for that. Okay, I know a little bit more, uh, but this is this entire uh, section is going to be a little bit more involved. So expect that. Let's go ahead and catch up in next video.